Hey guys, welcome back to Crown Geek. So in this video, we will be talking about that how to fix anti-malware service executable, high disk and high memory usage on Windows 10 and both Windows 11. You might be also trying to disable anti-malware service executable, but unfortunately it doesn't close from the task manager. And you can see it takes uh, and occupies a lot of space, especially if you're playing any games or your system, your computer might go laggy and you won't be able to do the, your work. So I'm going to share three methods, three solutions and that are step by step. So you need to apply one by one. So number one, we have to disable this uh, anti-malware service executable from the task scheduler. So what you have to do, just simply come on the search icon and or you can search for task scheduler. And once you come here, you just need to click on task scheduler library. Just make a double click on it and then click on Microsoft and then on Windows. Now, once you come here, scroll down and look for Windows Defender. So it should be under W section. So keep scrolling down and here you will find Windows Defender. Click on it and then you can expand the folder so that you can see all the options. So now in the name section here, just uh, bring your cursor and just expand it by dragging on the right so that you can see all the options. So now here you see Windows Defender's sh scheduled scan. Just make a double click on it and then it will take you to this option. So now you need to uncheck this option that says run with highest privileges. Just uncheck this and now come to conditions and in the power section whichever has been checked you just need to uncheck once done click on ok and then close this box and now we need to exclude this uh, entire malware service executable from the windows security so basically this is a entire malware security from the windows defender and it run all the time and it occupies a lot of space so we just need to ex just create an exclusion for this file so for this you just need to go to your search icon again and just click on it and type windows security open it and here you will see virus and threat protection click on it now it says virus and threat protection settings click on manage settings and now it says real-time protection automatic sample and if you scroll down you will see a section of exclusion so click on add or remove exclusion click on it and then click on this plus icon that says add an exclusion and then click on file and now here you need to click on local disk C and then come here click on program files and here you need to look for windows defender make a double click on it and now under this windows defender we need to look for msmpeng.exe which is right here so what you have to do just just make a click on it and this will be added here and again you can click on that go to file and then go to msmpeng.exe again now just copy this file name cancel it again click on add an exclusion and this time choose file type now enter the same path you just copy it and then click on add all right so now you are all done so once you are done all with all these settings you simply need to restart your computer and once you restart, you will see that the usage will just go down and it won't occupy much your space. So this will be effective after restarting the computer. So make sure you restart your device. Now, in case if this also doesn't work for you, so what you have to do, you will have to disable the real time protection. So come back again to Windows security, then virus and threat protection. Click on manage settings. And you need to disable real-time protection so well this is not recommended and you should enable this option but this is the temporary solution like when you are playing any game 
and at that period of time if you are having the trouble then you can just disable this option and when you are all done you can just enable this back again hope so this will help you to fix the problem this fixed my problem as well and that's why i'm sharing with you and if it works for you then please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video thank you